Raton Neval Tata was an Indian industrialist and phenotropist. He served as the chairman of the Tata Group and the Tata Sons from 1991 to 2012, and he held the position of interim chairman from October 2016 to February 2017. In his lifetime, he achieved Padma Vibhushan, Padma Vushan, CNN, IBM, Indian of the Year in business and lots of awards. As a human being, we born to die. There is no other option. We have to brace for death without any cost. I mean, with the cost of our life. Well, the wealth we achieved ultimately will be handed over to the next generation or to the belongings. Though we live like a life without thinking of dying. Though no matter the amount of rich you are or the poorest or homeless you are, you can't take whatever the materialistic assets you gain in your lifetime. Then if I ask what's the purpose of our life again? What is the meaning of the true success? We can't count any answer without the help of our creator can we again if we submit our will to almighty allah the wealth we achieved became valueless as almighty will not judge the amount of assets you gain in your life rather how you perceive it in a good way or a bad way and how you plan to spend them if you don't marry or if you didn't have any kids it will be totally pointless to reach your final goal no matter what religion are you in, you have the gift of power of human mating naturally by born. It's a blessing if you misuse it or even if you refuse to utilize it in proper way. It may have been a curse in many way. It won't bring any good in the social recognition or the social liabilities and your life will be kind of dull. But if you can have a good productions from you and there will have your generations to continue your legacy where they can shine thy name to and a well mannered and a well mannered a well educated people can be a good asset for our country and the society and we believe the afterlife of death so almighty allah will judge us for our deeds and give us what we crave for either it's good then you have to do the good deeds or it's bad only allah knows what is waiting for us the ultimate goal should be we will reach in the jannat and it won't be easy unless we did the good deeds or we maintain the proper life almighty allah our beloved prophet muhammad sallam, taught us what else the true purpose of life can be we should understand as there is a afterlife and no one can avoid it and death is the medium of the transformation of the state as a better person with a good human nature will be rewarded for his good deeds and those who created evil will be punished and perished in the hell so the wealthy record in your life would be pointless ultimately without any doubt as he didn't have any families or like any but Rotan Tata has a vast amount of properties on his belongings as he didn't do any will to anyone but at the law it may handed over to his brother Noel Tata and uh, as a human being when you born we have to take the test of death there is no other option so ultimately no matter where your wealth is going or who is carrying your wealth uh, we should care for our soul and the betterment for our soul only a very well-mannered and the honest person can shine as honesty is the best policy and that's all from today guys so hope you all enjoy the video if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and see you all soon with another interesting video till then have fun good luck and peace